Welcome to the Zetter Coveralls Quickie Tutorial, August 2010. We're having a sale on coveralls currently at bindedall.com. And for those of you who haven't discovered how great these are, we thought we'd show you this quick tutorial on how to use the coveralls. They're really great and one of our most popular items on the website. And we wanted to show you just how you would um, assemble these. And here's uh, a little bit about the styles and sizes they come in. There's three by four. They come in six by six, and most of the sizes come in white as well as craft. There's seven and a half by five, as well as eight by eight. And they do come in three spine styles. There is a curved spine, a flat spine, as well as a bamboo spine. And these larger size coveralls, you use a three quarter inch or one inch O wire. And those little three by four ones, you would use half inch O wire. I'm going to show you quickly how to assemble them here with this seven and a half inch by five inch craft colored uh, coverall. This is a flat spine and this is how it looks when you take it out of the package. You can see the flat spine and it looks like a book. It's a nice way to use the bind it all and make a bound project when you want to hide the spine of the O-wire. Inside the coverall when you open it you see there's a pocket and there is a plastic sheet that tucks into the pocket that we will use to assemble our book. I'm just going to quickly show you just with some plain white cardstock how you would assemble it. But of course you're going to make an album with uh, cardstock and patterned paper and you're going to assemble your pages um, just as you would with any album with all your creativity. And then you're going to punch your pages like you normally would, which is what I'm doing here. You will then go ahead and assemble all your pages in the order that you like. And also make sure you punch the plastic sheet that's inside the coverall. You can actually punch that with your inner pages. I'm going to go ahead and punch it here on its own and you can see the bind it all easily handles this lightweight plastic. And once you've done that you're going to make sure you've assembled your pages in the order you desire. Okay, in this case I've punched 13 holes and I have my O-wire ready. I'm going to go ahead and insert it into the pages as well as the plastic sheet. And here's your binding tips. Make sure you've got the O-wire in all the pages and that the O-wire opening is flat down into the binding channel. Make sure the small sided loops are facing the, the Zetter tool. Make sure that opening's flat down and because this is a longer project we're going to go ahead and bind it in sections all the way down. Make nice round holes with the O-wire and go ahead and flip that binding sheet around and very simply you're going to use that binding sheet to insert it into the pocket and that completes the assembly of the coverall. Very simple, very easy. You can actually remove those pages if you wanted to replace those pages at some time and use the same cover. But now that the cover is ready to decorate. You can paint it, ink it, stamp it, um, cover it with fabric, completely customize it any way you like. So those are coveralls. Try all the different sizes and check out all this great inspiration from the Zetter Zisters.